Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? Very tired, but very well. And very happy to be here me with too. you. Very... <laughs> Don't worry, me too. I, I think the same. Fine, teacher. It's raining. Raining. Rainy night. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, ah, teacher. Sorry. The connection got lost for a moment. So, <laughs> okay, so let's check the attendance, okay? Let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Veronica, Ana Veronica Hernandez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Turnaca de Rodriguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. <coughs> Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Pres present teacher. Good, good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa. Blanca Isabel, present. Present. Oh, okay. Perfect, thank you. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez. Here teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here teacher, good evening. Good evening. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ávalos. Okay. Oscar Mauricio Rivera. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, teacher. Víctor Eduardo Reyes. Present. Good. And Verónica Elizabeth Turgos. Present. Did you read a book yesterday? I'm sorry. Present yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, somebody was, uh, was asking here about a book. So, yeah, maybe we were discussing about that one. Okay, we're going to start tonight with a writing activity. Okay, so uh, remember that the name of the 
unit is loyalty. And we're going to do an exercise based on this one. So I want you to write uh, in a paragraph, uh, imagine, imagine this, imagine that you, you earn $1 million, okay? Or a lot of money, not a million dollars, but a lot of money. So uh, imagine that you are going to create your business, the business that you always wanted, any kind of business, okay? So what you are going to do is that you are going to write the description of that business. Uh, the name of the business, uh, what kind of products or services would you sell, uh, what kind of marketing would you do for you to reach their target, and uh, any details that you have about that business, okay? So you're going to describe the business that you will run, your, your dream, okay? Your business uh, of your dream. And then we are going to share with the class. Okay, so do you have any questions about the activity? Yes, teacher, I have a doubt. Uh, we need to choose just one or, or two? You can choose two or three, the ones that you want. Okay. Perfect. Any other questions? Perfect. So I will give you a few minutes for you to uh, do the writing. If you have questions, I will be here. Okay, okay, teacher. I'll mute it uh, 10 or 20. I don't listen. I'm sorry, the question is how many minutes? Yes. I mean, how many minutes are you going to speak or how many minutes do you have to write? 20, 30. <laughs> uh, 20 is fine. Okay. Very good. Teacher, it is necessary to use a visual um, material. Well, it's or not just a, read. Yeah, it's important the writing, the, the paragraphs or paragraphs that you are going to write. That is important. Uh, if you want to use a visual that is fine, but it's not necessary. It's more important the right. Okay, thank you. La compañía que vamos a describir o hacer marketing tiene que ser arriba de medio millón de dólares. Medio entendido, sí. Ah, no. Imagine that you have one million dollars for your business, so you can do whatever you want. That is the idea. So you have, uh, imagine that you are going to build your uh, dreams, your dreams business. Uh, so you can choose any, any kind of product or service for you to, to create that one. So think about, think about the, uh, the product services, marketing, the name of the company, maybe the description of the building, things like that. Excuse me, teacher, ¿para cuándo es eh, eh, la tarea? Uh, yeah. uh, this is going to be an activity for right now. So you are going to describe uh, your business. Imagine that you have a lot of money and you are going to build your business, any kind of business. Or you can choose two or three businesses. So what you need to do is to describe that business. So like, for example, the name of the company, the name of the products, services, 
and uh, how would you reach your target? What kind of people will buy the product? So it's going to be like your dream company. Okay, describe. Exactly. So it's a writing. You can choose two or three paragraphs for you to describe that. Okay. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure.
Okay, did you finish? Or do you need more time? I am ready, teacher. Very good. Okay, so let's start then. Uh, who wants to be the first one? Let's see. Uh, me? Okay, very good. Perfect. Let's listen to Ramiro. Um, for me, uh, a dream company is a dream job too. Excuse me, que hay una, algunas cosas que no las. Uh, no worries. Okay. For me, a uh, dream company and uh, as a dream joke too it is an a work uh, that given uh, what you need to lead a full and satisfied in life, both professionally and personally. The notion for a dream company is largest personal uh, and depend of each individual's value. The company should sell more than a million dollars per year and your and your brand will be the main attraction attraction. It has a very easy to remember logo. The color and shape will always be on the minds of customers, but the more important is for all person, the salary are, are most important, most, okay, it's most, most important, but really is a compliment. Excuse me, I, I completing, but <laughs> really no. is a compliment. Always the common characteristic of organization that people consider their dream company is the is the best of the market. This is my, I, I think, uh, teacher. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. So let me ask you uh, about this company. What did you think about the name of the company? The name of the company is no very important, like uh, Nike. Nike is only an, a, a check, it's a logo. Uh, or Adidas is only three three lines. Is uh, uh, the for me the, the name is no important. It's the recognizing the 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 brand. For your logo, color, and and in and remember, uh, what is the 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 company? Okay. What about the products? What products will you sell if you have your company? Uh, I I like sell a, a, a shirts for the a Formula Formula One. The uh, when they have all the all the names, the all the uh, all the companies compete uh, into to the Formula One. Okay, okay, that is a nice. All 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 company pay me for do it this uh, uh this uh product and selling in all the. All the uh, uh, events. Nice. Very good. That is very nice. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Any questions for Ramiro's company? No, teacher. Very good, Ramiro. Thank you. Perfect. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, ah. who wants to be the next one? Me teacher. 
Very good, Ernesto. We're going to listen to Ernesto. Okay, teacher, teacher, can I can I show the word? Yeah, definitely you can. So. Oh. Okay. I I have a dream, teacher. Okay, and, go ahead. And my dream is is about is about um uh I have the 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 coffee cup. Um the, the last week I, I won the lottery, is the is my dream. The third prize, the one million dollars. Um after after the, the first the first things that I uh I do uh, after the travel around the world in 40 days with thirty thousand dollars. My family and me discuss about the invest the rest the money, the lottery that I won. In, in, in this line, teacher uh, with my family, we think several business businesses idea, but the idea that we like most in investing to have five coffee cup from I I don't know teacher with the with the say fran franquicia franchises franchise 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 because the beverage that we like is with in my family is the coffee each frank franchise cost um thirty thousand dollars in total for the five franchise is a uh, one hundred. Fifty thousand dollars, and as you know, when someone acquires the franchises, the first moment is a training to understand all the brand or, or the brand plan or the branding plan, uh, its organizational culture, and the main feature uh, to know customer service aspect and, and others. Uh, in the other things that we need for the five coffee cup is an assessment for the identify the target in the principal five location. Uh, I think teacher, uh, the five location, uh, one coffee in San Salvador, the second in Santa Ana municipality, Sonsonate municipality, San Miguel and Sonsonate, I think. And, and this, uh, half the cost is the one one hundred thousand dollars. This assessment includes the the financial study for each coffee cup. Uh, we will in the other in the other thing, we will hire personnel in the five coffee cup. Include administrator, social media manager, waiters, tellers, and watcher. This personnel are going to need a training with cost. Uh, Fifty thousand uh, dollars, with the uh, the five uh, the five premises will be invested in fit with the cost of the one hundred dollar. Finally, at this moment, I have an investment uh, forty hundred thousand dollars. The rest of the price will be invested in the other companies. And okay. That's it. Very good. Perfect. This that was yeah. yeah. You see that you, you can invest in business that already exist. That is good. And yeah, the paragraph was very good, very organized, and the idea was very good as well. Very good. Uh, do you have any question for Ernesto? Anybody? Uh, excuse me. I, I don't have a question for Ernesto. It's, it's, I uh, I ha have a question for you, teacher. Go Excuse ahead. me, I understand uh, I, I was described a company uh, is a mix when uh, I want a company or uh, with a company to exist with or, or the, the attributes with company to exist right now. I don't understand good. Excuse me. Oh, no worries. But I mean, 
the important hit is the English, okay? If you practice, if you created a paragraph and you share your ideas, that is very good. So you did a very good job, no worries. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Good it's job, Ernesto. Perfect, so thank who you. wants to be the, uh, yeah, very good job, Ernesto. <laughs> So who wants to be the next one? Okay, I'm gonna choose. Oseas, you are the next one. Okay, good evening. Good evening. If I um if I have one million dollars, uh, I don't know. Maybe I create a company uh, of adoquines, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. You can say but I like uh, this type of products. Blocks. Yeah, blocks. Yeah, maybe blogs. Okay. And I like uh, the color blogs. And uh, I would like to to do a, a, a good branding, uh, create uh, different channels of distri distribution in all El Salvador. Uh, maybe create uh, a different stores in every department um, uh, and to do a, or to give a, a good service for for all the for all the clients I don't know maybe that's that's I I would do if I had one million dollars very good and what would be the name of the company um uh, I don't know quizás maybe... I have an idea Oseas block uh, help me help me Ernest Oseas block block Osea le vamos a poner block. Block. <laughs> okay. Okay. all That's right it, very good perfect thank you very much Oseas any questions for Oseas interesting company yeah, because, because in a different department of, of El Salvador, uh, we need a construction, a construction material. Yeah, yeah. It has a lot of demand. That is true. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Who wants to be the next one? Okay. I'm going to choose Juan Roberto. Okay, teacher. In my, in my case, uh, the brand is Restaurante Don John. Uh, it's um, a restaurant with a diversity of menus and Salvadorian, Chinese, Korean, and Spanish plates. The menu is for all family. Um, and marketing strategies are established the restaurant near to Santa Ana Bypass promote the affordable affordable prices through ads on TV and social media to sell merchandising about Restaurante Don Jong, generate an alliance to import quality beef and seafood and sell them in the same place, Ex establish a cooking academy for people of all ages interested, and then expand the restaurant and academy all over El Salvador. Okay, very good. Perfect. That is a very nice idea. So it's a restaurant. Food is always important. Uh, and I believe that it's a very good business. It's very hard. It's very hard, but it's a nice. Thing. Very good. Perfect. Any questions for uh, Restaurante Jones or Jones Restaurant? Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Veronica Elizabeth. 
Hello, teacher. Excuse me, but I am uh, right now at the phone. It, maybe if you explain me something, what I have to talk about <laughs> because I lost now. <laughs> okay, don't worry. What you have to do is you have to stand up and dance one song. This song, now is not true. What you have to do is to write a pattern or tell about a company, the company of your dreams. In okay. mind that you have all the money uh, and you can do whatever you want. What would you do? What company would you do? Okay. And now I have a, a, a little company. Okay. It's, um, it's a legal company. And I have a dream about, about it there. Uh, because uh, when I when I was a study for the lawyer, I I I I thinking about that. I, my dream is to have a big company, and I I can do, do pro bono. I don't know how to say this, uh, pro bono in English. Uh, pro bono is in English. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I wanna. I'm gonna give a some service for uh some people when they can pay some uh to help us because it's the uh, sometimes I receive the customers but they can't pay me and I have to say you have to go to PGR PGR Procuraduría I don't have to say yeah and but uh, in in that institution is the, the service is bad because they have too much people to attend and they can't do the work, uh, can't do the, the work uh, to help the, the people. And I think when I when I have to work for the, with heart, with mind, we can give the, the most work for the people. Okay, that is a very good thing. Very nice. Because, yeah, you will be helping people that are not able to, to do certain things. Very nice. Very good. Perfect. What would be the name of this? Uh, uh, I, I don't see now the name, but I, I think it's the, um, uh, the legal service for, for old people, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes, okay. sometimes, because it's the, I don't like what, when the people are arrive to my office and explain to me when uh, he can pay, but he need some, uh, I don't know, assessoria. Assessment. Accessory, uh, because uh, they have uh, any problem, any problem. Uh, Maybe uh, sometimes they lost your house, lost money, lost work, uh, work, uh, e and anywhere. But they, they, they know what I what I have to do. What I very have to good. do. Perfect. Very nice. That was very good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar Rene. Good evening. Evening. What I will do with a million dollars, I will be create a company to distribute additives for animal nutrition. Yeah. Okay. And presentation at the fit. Okay. Hey, did you look my pictures? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. And the name is Adifit. Members of Additives of Food Holding Groups, Group Association for the Nutrition Adidisa Holding Group, and present in the animal nutrition market. Okay, and um, sorry. Additives in food SA additive established in twenty twenty-three. 
with the propose of marketing raw materials to different destination with the supplies raw materials to the main adolescent plant uh, and to commercial partner in different countries. Vision connect connected the trade of input the field the world world by 2025 be globally recognized recognizing in the marketing and lo logistics of food supplies main destination so africa ecuador colombia peru venezuela bolivia chile north america and the caribbean jamaica republic Republic Dominicana, Barbados, and Central America, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Panama, Costa Rica, and Guatemala, Middle East, Middle East and Asia, Vietnam, and Tunis. Okay, thank you for so much. Please feel the please feel free to contact us if you have any priors. Okay, very good, very nice. This is a very nice project. So it's a worldwide. So that is very good because yeah, if you do it worldwide, you are going to have more chances to reach yes. the target. Would be much better. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. Okay. The next one is going to be let's see, Blanca Tunaka. Good night. Hello, good evening. Partners. Uh, my company will sell will sell accounting service services, financial advice, financial audit, tax audit. It will have an international recognition rank franchises. In advertising will be will be done through digital marketing. It is a project to run in one year, building the first um, twenty. Uh, two hundred two hundred fifty uh, millions. No, it's millions. In years to reach one million dollars. Thank you. Very good, very nice. Yeah, accounting is something very important. People uh, they don't like accounting services until they have problems. Right? So that happens a lot. But it's something that we should be doing in a monthly basis or at least in a quarterly basis. Perfect. Thank you. Now we're gonna listen to let's see. Silvia Patricia, thank you. Okay. If I have a billion dollars, and one of my dream is to invest in to build house with an commercial you know shopping centers and to rent rent the the local the house in my case I I will not sell not sell the the, the house but only put them of the service of rent I will also invest to in cars, create a fleet of cars and put on there, put put a friend. I believe eh, that this that this bin business requires invest and and just maintenance and just maintain my diamonds 
the business and generate more profits and just that. Very good, perfect. So that is a very good plan. Because, yeah, you are projecting for the future again, so many other things. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. And uh, let's listen now to Anna Hernandez. Good evening, class. Okay. My company is name is Todo Regalito. <laughs> We are dedicated to the sale of handicraft products in wool, clay, and ham cooks. <coughs> we have everything that, that someone can give your special one. Last year, our star product was the sale of simulate players in clay. Messi, Cristiano, Kylian Mbappé were the most requested. The excitement of soccer rich, even pro. We are a company created in 2018, which has been opening a space in the Salvador and Central American and North American market. We have a website with the same name, Tor Regalito. We ship to all of the Salvador through post office and abroad by person. Very, very good. Very attractive, the name. I really like it. So it's a very good trick. And it's uh, the idea in general is very nice. Thank you very much. Es que uh, de hecho, de hecho, teacher, fíjense que yo soy de Hilo Vasco. ¿Mm? Y, y nosotros, pues, Hilo Vasco es muy conocido por el tema del barrio. Entonces, eh, tenemos como, digamos, un negocio familiar de nacimiento. Y por el mismo tema, el año pasado, como justamente en diciembre cayó el tema del mundial, eh, se me ocurrió hacer un montón de figuras. Y esos fueron los más vendidos. Entonces se lo transporté a la idea que se quería para la clase. Very good. So, this is nice because it's a real idea. So, whenever you have the picture, send it to the group so we can check. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. So let's listen now to, I believe Monica is the possible because of the microphone. Jonathan Figueroa, is it possible for you? Not possible, I guess. Uh, Mauricio Rivera. Okay. Um, good night, class. Uh, if I have, uh, a lot of money. I would like to not to not create a specific company. I would like to invest in small businesses. I would like to help them grow and and, and open new branches. And I would like to to open not only in in, in El Salvador. Uh, I would like to open new branches of the companies that I, I, I am investing in other countries and 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 that that and that's why I am learning uh, English and I would like to learning uh, I would like to learn uh, other languages because I would like to go to other countries to bring investors investors and to help uh, the small companies in El Salvador to grow and and open new branches, not only in El Salvador, it, and they can they can uh, open new branches in, in other countries, and that's why that that's that that is my idea. If I have money, I would like to help uh, other people to. Uh, to create or to improve their company. Okay, very good. That is a very interesting idea. So yes, consultants and things like that so are very, very popular. The good thing is that the most of the companies that they try to get this kind of services are big companies. So of course, big money is going to come to that. Very good, perfect. Uh, let's check with uh, Carla Alejandra Castillo.
Okay, teacher. Well, I think in in two ideas, but I will share one of them. And create a center that for three kids with autism. The name will be Luminaris. The center it will have two purposes. The first one is focus on training and make aware teachers and parents about autism offering online courses and also offering training courses for teachers and schools. The second one will be treat the kids with autism with a multidisciplinary team that can help kids in every one of their needs and preparing them for develop in the daily tasks. The advertising will be online, sending emails for private and public schools or visiting directly. In this center, I will hire psychologists, pediatric neurologists, language therapists, physiotherapists, something like that, teacher. That's okay. That is very good. It's a very nice idea. Of course, it would be helping other people, and that is always very, very good. And the name is also very good. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Aida Isabel. Um, teacher, I'm going to share the screen and the computer. Okay. I have trouble with my computer. Oh, okay. Can you listen to me, right? Yeah, you can listen to me. Okay. <laughs> She's going to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yes, but what do you mean of this? Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, can you see the screen, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. If I have the opportunity to have a lot of money, I would like to create my company named Automotive, Automotive Marketing. Our lemma is the new way to sell cars. Okay. In this case, you can see the cars that I would like to sell in my company. Uh, the name of the car is a Chevrolet Convert, okay? Uh, we all know, we all know that getting a car is not a luxury today, okay? Because it is a necessity that is required to be able to use it in an emerging, for example, or simple, enjoy um, a trip with your friends, for example, with your family, okay? And you need to, um to 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 have okay the opportunity to travel around the country or around the world if you want okay um the buses we don't we don't the same um what <laughs> the same way to to okay the transportation is not the same, okay? And the individual car on the bus um, a station, for example, you can see a lot of people, okay? But in your car, in your car uh, you can travel comfortable, okay? Something like that. Uh, we offer you a five years uh, warranty and monthly car check checkups, okay? For the simple price of a uh, one oh no one I don't remember <laughs> teacher help me of course <laughs> okay. it's going to be one hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred thirty five okay that price okay you can uh obtain my card with that price okay remember is new in this uh, year two thousand twenty three and that's all okay. <laughs> Look at oh, the car. Okay. Yeah, that is amazing. It's a very nice okay. car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very, thank you so much. Very good. That was a very nice idea and uh, very good. Yeah, the name, everything was very nice. Good. Uh, Roberto's for tomorrow. Let's see who's missing. Sandra Gomez. Okay. So we are going to continue, okay, with the class. 
Uh, nobody else is missing. Jennifer Amaya, is it possible for you? Okay, the rest, I guess you did it very well. Oh, okay, so let's continue. And this is uh, something very interesting. The brand pyramid is the name of this article. So we're going to read, let's see, uh, the first paragraph. Uh, let's see. Oseas, could you please read the first two paragraphs, please? Okay. Think about the brands you use. Some of them you likely bought because they were cheap or suited a functional need. But others you may will have chosen simply because you love them. When someone feels a strong positive emotion toward a brand like this, their loyalty toward it increases. Understanding the way customers relate and feel towards brands can be particularly lucrative to marketers and strategists who want to boost customers' loyalty. Very good, perfect. So this is uh, like the introduction of how important is the loyalty, right, for a company, for a brand. So uh, I believe there is no, no new words here. Maybe lucrative. What is lucrative? Lucrative. Very good. And what about boost? Okay, when you want to boost or when there is a boost, uh, it's like when you want to increase, uh, but it's like exponential. It's like a boom, something like that. Okay, the other, uh, or do you have any questions on the first part before we run? Okay, let's okay. do the other, perfect. the other two, the other two paragraphs. Let's see. Ana Hernandez, could you please help me reading this one? Okay, hey, teacher. But how do you know how your customer feel about your brand? And what can you do to encourage them to to build, to build a stronger emotional ties with it? In this article, we look at a useful tool called the brand pyramid, which you can use to identify just how strongly a customer feel about your brand. We'll also explore how you can use it to increase your customer loyalty to your brand product or organization. Perfect, very good. So Interesting this one, right? So we're going to start, talk about one specific strategy. And it says, but how do you know how your customers feel about your brand? And what can you do to encourage them to build stronger emotional ties with it? Uh, what is ties? Corbata. Well, it's, yes, it's that one, but not in this case. In this case, ties is like lassos. So okay. emotional ties are like links where you are, hey, I disappeared. Where you are, hey, I go, hey, bye. So uh, where I go and, and get some links emotionally with other people and the brand, right? So in this article, we look at a useful tool called a brand pick which you can use to identify by just how strongly customers feel about your brands. We'll also explore how you can use it to increase your customers' loyalty to your brand or organization. Remember that when we have the apostrophe after the S, this is a plural one, right? So that is very important. Any questions on this part? It's clear for me, teacher. Okay, it says, note, according to marketing expert Seth Godin, a brand is a set of expectations, memories, stories, and relationships that mm -hmm. taken together account for a customer's decisions to choose one product or service over another. Brands can distinguish products, services, and even entire organizations. So that is a brand. A brand is not only the name of the company or the name of the 
about expectations. So what people expect from the product, from the service, from the customer service, memories. We also spoke about that one, right? That there are memories that we can get into stories and relationships. So there are many things. Branding is a lot of things. So what is the brand pyramid? So the first two parts are going to be for, let's see, Ernesto. In the first paragraph or the three? The first two. Okay, okay. What is the brand pyramid? There are several different versions of the brand pyramid, but most are based on the model originally create, created by Milward Brown, a global marketing research and consulting firm in the mid uh, 1990s. The firm spent 30 years tracking brand health studies from thousands of organizations. It then used this research to create its original model, while Milward Brown is now part of Cantor and has since updated and simplified its brand equi equity, equity framework. Excuse me, teacher. Equity. Equity framework. The original model is still a useful way to think about building customer loyalty. Very good. So that is it. There are several different versions of the brand pyramid but most are based on the model original created by Milward Brown, a global marketing research and consulting firm in the mid 1990s. So this is just one of those, but everything is related. The firm spent 30 years, mind that, 30 years tracking brand health studies from thousands of organizations. So what is tracking? Okay, tracking is like uh, Como rastreo. something like that. Ir rastreando, ir revisando lo que ha pasado. Track. So you track what happened in many ways. Uh, let's see. And then it says, and then he used this research to create its original model. While Milward Brown is now part of Cantal and is since updated and simplified. It's brand equity framework. The original model is still a useful way to think about building customer wealth. And then it says the brand pyramid shown in figure one illustrates five key stages that customers go through as they develop a relationship with a brand, starting with basic awareness and finishing with complete loyalty. So that is it. So we have the revenue potential. And then we have the loyalty. And then we have presence, relevance, performance, advantage, and bonding. What is that? Of course, we're going to check that here, okay? Uh, then it says clearly your goal is to get as many of your customers as possible to the higher levels of the pyramid. After all, the higher people are up the pyramid. The more money they likely to spend with your brand, this is why the pyramid is invented. So that is the reason why the pyramid is upwards, is upside down. So bonding, if they are, for example, in the bonding part, they are more willing to spend money in your brand. If they are in relevance, they have less, less, uh, willingness to spend money on that one and if you go to the to the stages from the bottom to the top the loyalty will increase so let's check what is presence let's see juan roberto please read presence level one presence at this level customers are aware of your brand but little else. 
they, they may have tried your products and services before, but they have little or no emotional attachment to them. That is it. So in presence, it's like, yes, I know the brand. I have seen the name. I have seen the colors, but it's not important. For me. It's just another brand. At this level, customers are aware. What is to be aware? Start conscient. Very good. They are aware, start conscient of your brand. But little else, they may have tried your products and services before, but they have little or no emotional attachment to them. Any questions on number one? Okay, so let's go to, uh -huh. no, it, It's clear, teacher, for me. Very good. Let's go to level two. Uh, let's see. Blanca Tunaka. Yes. Yeah, could you please read the number two? Okay. Level two, relevance. At this level, customers start to think about whether your brand meets their wants and needs. They begin to compare the cost of your product with the value that it provides. They might start asking the, themselves questions like, does this brand fit my needs? It, is it in the right price bracket for me? Is it worth, worth it? Very good. So that is focus. Okay. At this level, customers start to think about whether your brand meets their wants. So they start thinking about mm, this product is good. Is this what I want? Is this what I need? There are two things because sometimes we need something to be solved uh, with a problem, but sometimes we only want something. It's not a need, but yeah, it's something that we would like to have. They begin to compare the cost of your product with the value that it provides. They might start asking themselves questions like, does this brand fit my needs? Is it in the right price bracket for me? Is it worth it? What is worth, worth it? Valor. Valor. Tiene valor para mí. Vale la pena. Something like that. Do you have any questions? Uh -huh. Question song number two. Okay. Let's go to number three there. Performance. That is going to be for, let's see, Silvia Patricia. Okay. Level three, performance. There, customer begin comparing your brand with others to see whether it delivers to their requirements and the value they are seeking. They are also starting to associate your bra with a specific identify and beginning to recognize it more often. Depends. By now, Depends. your product or service is on the customer share list of brands to choose from. Very good. And so, okay, that is it. So, performance in this level says here customers begin comparing your brand with others. So yeah, you take the two products, maybe the product that you always buy and you think about that one, to see whether it delivers on their requirements and the value they are seeking. What is seeking? Yeah. Buscan. Very Buscan. They are looking for. Nice. They also start to associate your brand with specific identity and beginning to recognize it more often. By now, your product or service on the customer's shortlist of brands to choose from. So 
Here you are in the middle, right? So they are thinking about you, maybe not using it yet, but they recognize your brand. Yes. Any questions here in number three? Not for me, teacher. Perfect. Let's go. Teacher, to... I, I want to talk some question. Go ahead. Uh, I understand when when I when I talk seeking. Okay, but I, sometimes the person to uh, say is the looking for. What the different when I have to do use the different words. Uh, yeah, looking for maybe is like more in general when you are looking for something. Maybe you don't know specifically what you are looking for. Something uh, you're looking for a place to eat. You're looking for somebody to help you with doing something, but you don't know specifically who is that person. But when you are seeking something, it is when you you know exactly what you want. And then you are looking exactly for that. It's like an objective that you are looking for. That. It's a general, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Good. It's a pleasure. Any other question? Okay, number four. Very short. This is for Mauricio Rivera. Okay. Um, advantage. At this level, customers have determined that there is a distinct advantage to using your brand over others. They are also beginning to associate, associate it with their own emotions and identity. Perfect, very good. So that is uh, the advantage. At this level, customers have determined is, uh, that there is a distinct advantage to using your brand over others. So they know that your brand is better, better than others. And also they begin to associate that with your, with emotions and identity. So for example, uh, I don't know, cars, there are people that they also, they only buy a certain brand of cars because they believe that is the best brand. So uh, things like that one are like this. I don't see any question here, any word. Do you have any question? No, for me, teacher. Good. So level five it says bonding. Okay, let's check who's gonna read that one. Let's see. Aida Isabel. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. My mom is here. <laughs> Hello, mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is that you're very happy. So that is very nice. Okay. <laughs> um, customers have established a strong bond with your brand. They have determined that the cost, advantages, and performance over your brand all meet their requirement. They also form a <laughs> strong emotional attachment to it. Your brand has become an integral part of their self imagine and helps to represent uh, who they are. This, in turn, means they exclude other brands in favor of your one or your one. Customers of this level are so <laughs> likely to be. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> To be vocal curious of your brand. <laughs> <laughs> and broad. <laughs> you need to turn on your camera. To <laughs> okay, I'm going to breathe. <laughs> go, go ahead, Aida, go ahead. Right, <laughs> uh, their family, social and professional. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. you made it. That's good. No worries. That's that's good that you're happy. That is nice. I mean, okay, it, thank it, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bonding. Do you know what is bonding? I am Bond, James Bond. Now nah, that is not. 
como vinculación? Vínculo, lazo. So, in this case, you are linked to a product or service, right? So, and here it says, customer have established strong bond with your brand. They determine that uh, the cost advantages and performance of your brand all meet their requirements. They also form a strong emotional attachment. What is attachment? Okay, attachment is like when you put something together. It's como unir al, okay, adjuntar, eh, poner dos partes juntas, something like that. Then it says your brand has become an integral part of their self image and helps to represent who they are. This in turn means they exclude other brands in favor of your one. Customers at this level are also likely to be vocal advocates of your brand and proactively praise it their family, social and professional circles. So advocates, you remember what is that? Abogacia o abogar. Very good. Ah, very good. Abogar. And the other one is praise. In praise is like alabar. So you say, oh, this brand is very good. It's the best brand of what? So that is it. Hello, here. Something like that. Very good. Hello. Okay. Do you have any questions on this? Very good for me, teacher. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. There are a couple of notes. Note one, it's usually best to assume that customers move through each stage in sequence from presence to bonding. And yeah, I believe that that would be it. Uh, note number two, uh, let's see. Uh, Carla, could you please help me reading the number two? Oh, Carla, okay, teacher. Okay. The brand, sorry, the, the pronunciation of the word pyramid or pyramid? Pyramid. Okay, the brand pyramid feature above focuses on the different stages a customer goes through as they develop a relationship with the brand. It should not be not to be focused on the killer's brand equity model. Also denoted as a pyramid and sometimes referred to as the brand values pyramid, which refers to the different stages an organization works through when developing a brand. Very good, so there's a note number two. The brand pyramid feature about focuses on the different stages of a customer goes through as they develop a relationship. So this is something like a bond. Actually, it's the same with people. It's exactly the same. So you see the person and you don't care, right? But then you approach, you start getting to know that person and you create bonds with that person. So it's exactly the same. You should not be confused with the care brand security model. That is something that we're not going to check yet. Also denoted as a pyramid and sometimes referred to as the brand values pyramid, which refers to the different stages an organization works through when developing a brand. So that is totally, we don't know that yet, but we're gonna check if we have the time later on. Benefits of the brand pyramid. Okay, this is going to be for, let's see. Um, um, Silvia, Patricia. Okay. okay. Benefits of brand of the brand pyramid. Evidence show that customers are willing to pay for willing to pay, to pay willing to pay more for the brands they love. So improving brand loyalty is essential if you want to increase increase your customer base on and drive profits. 
But first, you must understand just where your customer sits up the brand pyramid. Doing this can help you to identify just how strong the connection is between your brand and your understand your brand and your customer and your and your customers and enable you you to think about what more can be done to build on the relationship you have with them. Could you, for example, set up a customer loyalty program or invest in a new marketing strategy that effectively resonates with your target audience? When you understand the fifth stage that people go through why they will loyalty to your brand, you can focus your marketing for of learning target customer through them. Remember, however, that there is some crossover between each of the levels, and it may but it may be difficult or impractical to focus on just one stage at a time. Very good, perfect. So let's check on this one. Benefits of the brand here. Evidence shows that customers are willing to pay more for the brands they love. That is true, right? So that, that is true for everything. If you're speaking about political parties, about a uh, soccer match team, uh, anything that you love, you're willing to pay to defend that one, right? So improving brand loyalty is essential if you want to increase your customer's base and drive profits. But first, you must understand just where your customers sit on the brand pyramid. Doing this can help you to identify just how strong the connection is between your brand and your customers. And enable. Do you remember what is enable? Enable. Permitir. Okay, very good. Permitir. I did that. You to think about what more can be done to build on the relationship you have with them. Could you, for example, set up a customer loyalty firm or invest in a new marketing strategy that effectively resonates with your target audience when you understand the five stages that people go through while they build loyalty to your brand? You can focus your marketing efforts on leading target customers through them. Remember, however, that there is some crossover between each of the levels, and it may be difficult or impractical to focus on just one stage at a time. A crossover, what is crossover? Okay, a crossover is like when you have two different things, but they try to mix those two things. So that is a concern. Okay. okay, how to use the brand pyramid to build customer loyalty. Here are some strategies that you can use when applying the brand pyramid to improve your customer loyalty. And let's see, okay, we're gonna split this. The two first paragraphs is going to be for Sandra Gomez. Not possible. Roberto Carlos, is it possible for you? Not possible. He's driving the tall. Okay, no worries. Uh, Jennifer Amaya. Not possible. Let's see then. Um, Mauricio Rivera. Okay, coach. Uh, what paragraph I am going to read? Uh, you are going to read the two first paragraphs, these ones. Okay. 
the the two first part. Yes, please. Okay. Presence and relevance, levels one and two. During these first two levels, you'll likely be focused on building awareness of your brand among the target audience. Use the marketing mix and for peace to develop a marketing strategy that will boost your brand's presence and relevance among the customers base you are hoping to target. You'll likely be targeting different groups of customers with different wants and needs and with different potential levels of pro profitability. So it can help to use marketing segmentation and the STP model to focus your marketing strategy on delivering offerings targeted and the distinct groups of people most likely to engage with your brand. Very good, perfect. So yes, uh, there are, these are like the two first levels, right? So, and then uh, you need to, to be aware of the targets, on target people that you are going to be. Doing. There are other tools here that we're not going to check. There are like the marketing mix. This is something that we check already. And the four P's, do you remember that? It's price, place, and all those things. Uh, to develop a marketing strategy that will boost your brand presence and relevance among the customers. So we're going to focus on the first two here. And then uh, it says uh, that we need to understand the different wants and needs. So we have, we're able to link our company to those and then get some potential profitability. And Market segmentation, yeah, this is something like uh, we are going to have different audiences and we need to choose. And the STP model, we haven't checked out yet. Maybe we're going to check that later on. So uh, do you have any questions on the first two parents? Okay. So let's go to the next two paragraphs. Uh, this is going to be for, let's see, Ana Hernandez. Your customer will also want to know how your brand fits with their wants and needs. Price important here if the price is too high. Customer won't buy your product. But if the price is too low, they might assume that your product is of low quality. So it's essential that you also do some do some research into your buyer preference. Conjoint analysis is a great tool you can use to do this. This can help you identify what, what your customer trolley one from your product or service. You can then use this information to fine tone your product design and marketing strategy so that they are meeting customer demand. Very good. So this is again the first two levels, right? So your customer will also want to know how your brand fits with their wants and needs. So this is something which are before. What is to fit? Encajar. Encajar. Very good. Perfect. Uh, price is important here, it says. This is something that really, really we need to check it with our, right? So if the price is too high, the customers won't buy. But if the price is too low, then probably they will assume this is not good quality and they won't buy. Or uh, you won't get my, uh, much profits in this one, right? And there are other tools here for us to check into that one. I'm checking about words, but I don't find them. For example, it says this is to fine tune. Do you know what is to fine tune? Not teacher. Okay. So fine tune is like. Uh, 
get something of quality, in this case, information. So, so you can tunear, poner el producto exactly the way that they so that will be it. To good. adjust. To adjust, very good. And it says, remember, there is still little to no emotional attachment to your brand at this stage. Customers are comparing price and value. So make sure that your marketing strategy addresses this key concern. And there is a tip. Different customers will be at different levels of the pyramid at different times. The product diffusion curve helps you think about how you can target different customers at different stages of a product's life cycle. Let's go to uh, number three. So this part is going to be for uh, Roberto. You, I see that you have your hand up. Roberto Carlos. Okay, maybe not possible for you. Let's see, Oscar René Molina. A pedirle iba si podía leer yo. Very good, we're connected, nice. <laughs> the performance uh, level three. Yeah, performance level three, yeah. Okay, to reach the stage, you need to show the four brands is better than your competitors. This is, this will require some clever marketing. Ensure you are given to your customer customers all the information that they need to compare compare okay. your product your product with comparing ones. You uh, show you customers customers how much better your brand of product is be focusing on its benefits rather than its future. If you haven't already done so conduct a USP analysis CP help you identify your brand unique uniquely valuable, uniquely uniquely valuable future and promote this to the consumers advantage okay. and very good point. okay so yes this is the level three that is performance so uh you need to know you, first of all, the producer, need to know that your product is better than the competitors, at least in some things, right? Uh, what is clever? Listo. Listo. Very good. That would be. And what is ensure? Asegurar. Very good. Perfect. Let me check if there is any other. I don't think so. Ah, well, unitedly. Unicamente. Unicamente, very good. And that's it. Any questions here in level number three? Okay. So this it says advantage and bounding levels four and five. Uh, yes, yeah, this is a little bit longer. So the first three paragraphs are going to be for, let's see, Oseas. First paragraph? It's going to be the three? first three, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> to reach this final stage, you need to communicate the perceived added benefits of using your brand, for example. It might be lower in price or so superior in quality, quality to your competitors. It may also be environmentally friendly, have a heritage value associated with, with it. 
or use cutting edge technology that isn't available elsewhere. Software influences may also be relevant here. Customers might begin to identify your brand with emotions such as fun, excite, excitement, or approval for, from peers. In your marketing strategy, you need to address and enhance these emotions. Very good. So yes, this is part of the levels, you know, that these are the last ones and you need to uh, start speaking about or checking about the bonding, the feelings, right? The emotions. Let's check some words. What is perceived? Perceive is percibido. Percibir. What is environmentally friendly? Un entorno amigable. Very good. What is heritage? The heritage is herencia. Uh, cutting edge. What is cutting edge? Okay, cutting edge is when you are using the best technology. The best. Okay. okay. What is elsewhere? Yes. In cualquier parte. Okay. Elsewhere. Uh, let's see. What is peers? Par. El par. Some, somebody that is your equal, right? Equal, yes. Así. Like a equal. Very good. So, and then the other part, the last part is going to be for Juan Roberto. For once. Sí. Once your customers have a strong emotional tie with your brand, they're more likely to advocate its benefits to others in their social, family, and professional circles. By this stage, your brand, your brand likely has a culture surrounding, surrounding it. Just think, for example, about big brands such as Apple, Coca-Cola, and Netflix. Work toward build, building this culture by strengthening your identity through standout marketing campaigns and branding. And keep that brand loyalty high by providing reinforcing rewards and incentives to your most vocal advocates. For example, you could host events that are important to your key customers, customer base, offer special or exclusive benefits and reach out to your customers on a personal level. Very good. Again, these are like strategies for you to uh, get emotional your customers so they can relate to your brand. Right. Let's check some words. Um, surrounding. It's I something that is like alrededor, rodeado, rodeando. Okay, let's see. Tower, what is tower? Okay, tower Asia. is Asia. Very good. It's a preposition of movement. Tower. Uh, let's see. I don't see any other. No. Do you have any questions here? Stranger thing, yeah, strengthening. Strengthening. Uh, yeah, strengthening is like uh, fortalecer. Yeah, 
Stranger Things, igual que la Ajá. serie de Netflix. Ya, yeah, es muy similar, ya. Similar, ya. The writing. <laughs> Good. Key points. Let's see. Um, uh, Veronica Elizabeth. Yes. Key points. The brand pyramid illustrates the five key stage that customers go through as they develop loyalty toward a particular brand, product, or organization. The five stages are number one, presence, number two, relevance, number three, performance, number four, advantage, number five, bonding. The bonding stage of the pyramid represents the ultimate goal for a brand. Here, customers are very loyal to your organization and likely have a strong emotional attachment to it. This also means they are more likely to spend more money with your brand and praise it is and pray its benefit to others. Very good, perfect. So these are like the key points, like a review on everything we have checked, okay? So there are five key stages. Uh, so if you want the, your customers to link emotionally, remember that this is just one strategy, it's one analysis. So we're going to check some other things in the book, uh, but this is like the stages that people uh, go through when you are related to. If you want to go through uh, the emotional part with your brand. And as I was telling you, this is something that happens not only with the products, uh, with the brands. This also happens with people, right? So sometimes we meet people and we don't care about people. Sometimes we get to know different things until we are very good friends or sometimes the significant other. So that is a very, very interesting thing. Good, good. Uh, do you have any questions for the class of tonight? Okay. No, teacher. But, interesting, interesting activity for the first moment, the class. For the, uh, yeah. For, for the my dreams. <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes I like to do some things that are not in the book. Actually, sometimes I, I like to ask questions about deep questions like philosophy. I'm planning to do that maybe uh, tomorrow or Friday or maybe next week so we can analyze a little bit more about other things. Uh, and that the good thing is that we not only, we're not only practicing this, but we also analyze, uh, I don't know, the country, the world, life many things so yeah we're going to check into some things like that um uh, and see what are your answers because um one of the biggest or uh, most important things for me uh, and that is the reason why i teach english classes is well first of all to meet people because this is the way for me to meet a lot of people and the second is to to learn to know the way that you think or oh, and to share what i think course so it's a very interesting part and uh, uh sometimes we need to think out of box right very good so if we don't have more questions we're going to check the attendance also remember that we need to finish the platform this weekend all the platform veronica uh did you have do you happen to have access to the platform yes that's a lot yes Nice, I'm happy about you. Very good. I, I have to work this weekend. Yeah, you have a lot to do. Yeah, but the good thing is that you have access to it. Okay. Very good. So also remember that you might be receiving a uh, survey and that is going to be for, uh, uh, for us to do it on the last day of class. That is going to be Tuesday. Next Tuesday is the last day of class. Perfect. I hope I will finish. Yeah, of course. If you continue coming to the classes, we are going to meet in New York sometime. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Hello, teacher. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández. Mm. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Presente. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, present, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Present. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rupas. Present, Mr. Very good. So it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. Okay, thank you. See you good tomorrow, night. teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Hello. Hello.